Well, the freezer aisle is full of sweet treat brands from all over the country. Yeah, but why buy those when you can buy local? And this week's Buckeye Built Meg Shaw got the scoop on Pierre's ice cream. Get it? Scoop uh -huh. on ice cream? We got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, we're going to head back to 1932 when Pierre's first opened its doors right in the middle of the Great Depression. So when other businesses were closing their doors, they were looking ahead to the future. So sweet, so dreamy as it kisses your lips. Pumpkin pie, moose tracks, cookies and cream. Everybody likes ice cream. And everyone has a favorite. In Cleveland, if there's anyone who knows a thing or two about ice cream, it's Shelly Roth. Started in 1932 as a little ice cream shop about one mile east of here on Euclid Avenue. She's the president of Pierre's Ice Cream. We've seen a lot of changes and we're proud to be part of those changes and improvements that we've seen. A historic company who calls Cleveland's Midtown neighborhood home. They've taken plenty of tough times in stride, like the 80s and 90s. Old dilapidated warehouses, old dilapidated buildings that were vacant. Fast forward to today. Euclid Avenue is bustling. Buildings around Pierre's ice cream factory are vibrant, full of business people working to make a better Cleveland day by day. It's really amazing. It's amazing to be a witness of this transformation and it's amazing and an honor that we might have had a small part in helping it. And though the packaging has changed a bit over the years, the way in which their ice cream is made hasn't. It is made fresh here every day and that's a Big advantage if you're making a decision, if you're standing at a freezer and saying, what should I take home tonight? It's take home what's made here in Cleveland. The best part, their hardworking team is always working to come up with new flavors and products that fit nearly every diet. It's the puzzle and it's what makes it interesting. Wait till you taste the jingle that you'll have stuck in your head all day because I do. Little groove. Uh, so if you guys are wondering how long it takes for a new ice cream uh -huh. to be created. I was. They say it all depends anywhere from six months to two years. So if it's something really crazy, they okay. have to do a lot of tests and a lot of testing of the ice cream, which is a really hard job. I'm sure <laughs> Trent is already volunteering. Did you bring any with you? I did the day of the shoot because uh, I didn't shoot this today, obviously. So mm. It's all, right. all gone. Huh. Yeah. It's all. It's at the store. Go, Go support buy it local. At the store. Go buy local. <laughs> do they do they uh, take ideas from people? For they do. Ideas? They do. Okay. You can actually like reach out to them. Say I have this idea. I mean, it may not be approved, but I want a tiramisu flavor. They might already have it. Do oh, you? That's true. That's true. Look it up. Okay, I will. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. All right, still.